Alcyon the God. Today I want to show you how to cut a self knock in uh, bamboo or river cane. This is bamboo. I got it off of eBay. Uh, I'll put a link down below in case you want to check it out. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to show you how to cut a self knock. Now, the first thing I've got to do is take these sides down. So I'm going to use this sander. One thing to note about river cane or bamboo or shoot shafts is they are tapered naturally. So when you put a point on this, you want to put it on the big end. Your knock goes on the small end. So we're going to put the knock on the small end. And where these little leaflets come out, the stems from the plant, I want to put those to the side. As I'm shooting the bow, it's going to be to the side of the arrow. Now that we have the sides ground down, I'm going to take you over here to the other workbench. Okay, the next step is to take a drill bit just a hair bigger than your, your, your bowstring. So I'm going to put this, and I'm just going to eyeball this. That's all it takes. Next step, take a piece of sandpaper. Yeah, if you can see that. Take a piece of sandpaper and go down where this pithy part is. You may not have a pith in yours. I've got a pith in mine. There's sandpaper getting wore out. I'm going to fold it again. Here. There we go. Now we've broken through to that hole. So we want to sand just a little bit more. Being careful not to go too far because you want this to snap because you want this to snap on to your string. Now I have a spare string that's the right diameter. Now I'm just going to test fit this. And as you can see, I need to go a little bit further. doesn't take much. Let me go back this side and I'm going to open the mouth up a little bit wider. Okay. 
test fit again. A little bit. Go a little bit more. That fits pretty good right there. Little tight, not bad. I'll go just a hair more. Perfect. Hear that snap? I don't know if you can hear that. Probably not. But it fits perfect. Now just a little bit more refinement. Open this mouth up a little bit more so it's easier to get onto the string. And uh, we'll have ourselves a we'll have ourselves a self knot. Now I don't want to sand any. Now I don't want to sand any more in this this uh, the what would you call that the throat the gully I don't know. You don't want to sand down anymore into this this notch all I'm doing is opening the top up around the tops of these off Back side. All right. There is one self knock. Now the next step would be to wrap the end of this with sinew, which is what I'm going to do. Or you can use thread or uh, artificial sinew. Um, you can use dog bane. That's a good one. Or you can use hemp. Up to you. I'll uh, I guess I'll see you on the next one.